All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 31 with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 16 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Long Island, New York, USA, the machine, Wally Strelly! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going tonight. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Beautiful strike. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. There's no tell on that leg kick. Circling 
to his right. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, Superman punches true. Nice leg kick. Nice stupid punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big power shot there. Just a split there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Single collar tie now. Lifts on the straight right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. There's no give on that leg kick. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Good stick. Big kick lands. Real quick leg kick. Big knee there. Oh, straight right. Watch that strike. Oh, nice right hand, John. Got the single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. Shot lands upstairs. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Lee gets up. He is back on the feet here. Ooh, big shot land. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Beautiful kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and cruise you with that single strike. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Final seconds of round one. signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Big kick lands. Huge block there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Let's go! Come on, get Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. 
It was a good night if that landed. Try to establish that jab. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, there's an effective counter with a straight punch. And again, he's got the reach advantage that has certainly helped him manage distance here tonight. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Can't take many of those, you better check. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big body to land. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. What a body kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Keep your hands up. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Boy, Ty Plum. He lands a big knee to the body. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Oh, ace. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, it looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Great punch. Hands up. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. And just misses with that big right hand. Now a knee to the body. Beautiful punch. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. How good is that right hand? Loaded up with that right hand, too. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Nice strike. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. with a head kick that at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Missed with that attempt. Oh man, head kick land. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out 
but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not bad. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get from that fighter that is evenly matched. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Nice one, two there. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. The big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes. Near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. Oh, head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Nice punch by Lee. Three minutes to go in round three. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Ooh, what a punch. Just missed with the left there. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Very tricky when she throws that body kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Hands high, hands high. Nice. Back and forth we go. See if he can finish. Big combination. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. That is a thudding leg kick. a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Able to check that kick as well. And they separate. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He goes to the body there. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that's 
fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stand, of course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Last round over, he took his best shots. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right on the start. What a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big knee there to the chest. Tonight lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Nice body kick. Punch over the top. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and... Offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong today. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Just over three minutes to go. Trying to double up on that jab. Nice head kick. Whoa, whoa. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Just misses with the jab there. Nice kick. Lee's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Nice one-two there. Lee gets caught by the inside leg. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high drive. Oh, oh takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Wow, huge head kick. Nice punch there by Lee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice right punch followed by a left. Just out of range with that left hook. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Big punch lands through the middle. Back and forth we go. Liver kick. Yeah. 
30 seconds remain in the round. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Big head kick lands. Ten seconds. Just misses with the right. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Big punch lands. Ooh. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And he caught the kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there, very nice. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, blocks the shot. Look at him flipping his hip into that kick. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Cable of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. That's a big strike right there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice leg kick lands. Right hand upstairs. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Big kick. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah, no more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock them out. One way or the other, you're gonna lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Two minutes now to go in this one. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Out of range with that one. Tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Big kick lands. Beautiful body kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, he's got to be on top of the world after this performance here tonight as we come down the stretch. And this one, from a cardio standpoint, this is as conditioned as he has ever arrived in the office. I mean, he looks fantastic tonight. It's one of those nights where everything went right.
fight. He got the fight where he's comfortable, and he's dictated the exchanges where he can really conserve that cartridge. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Right under the elbow by Luke Land. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Big kick. There's the jab. There's another one. So the double jab is there by Lee. Final seconds of the fight. Wow! What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. Going the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance.